Those people don't, don't trust that they are not in these places. They are not in these places. How are you? Doctor, where are you? How 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 are you? Uh, in the main mining sector, we are carrying out uh, key reforms uh, because the mining sector has been uh, identified as a key driver of the economy of our country. And our target is to move the revenues from mining from 1% of our GDP currently to 10% of our GDP in the next uh, three years. And what we are doing uh, is to realize that, first of all, we have just concluded the geosurvey uh, report, which has identified 970 uh, mineral occurrences across the country. And therefore, we have been able to identify key minerals across the 47 counties. And we have now embarked on a process of uh, ground truthing uh, to be able to quantify and uh, see the economic value of our minerals. Alongside that, we are also identifying key value addition centers across the country uh, because we are carrying out, uh, we are doing a, a value addition and mineral uh, processing policy uh, so that we can reduce the amount of minerals that are exported raw. For example, uh, in the building industry, you know, Kenya uh, has sufficient limestone and gypsum. Uh, where we can already process uh, clinker. We don't need to process, uh, to import clinker uh, from uh, other countries. So the mineral value addition and processing policy uh, will help us to create jobs, but also to address the value chain in the mining sector. Uh, we also want to uh, organize the artisanal miners into cooperative societies so that they can access training uh, and facilitate them and link them with financial institutions so that they can have proper equipment uh, as they do their mining activities. So we are carrying out uh, this in the entire country uh, so that we can um, uh, benefit the artisanal uh, miners. Uh, currently there's a lot of smuggling uh, because samples are taken in other countries. So we are upgrading Madini House uh, to be um, a modern lab and we will uh, do a decentralization of lab services. Uh, in all the regions we have areas where um, these uh, uh, minerals can be tested. Uh, and so basically um, those are the key sectors that we have identified and they are key reforms. So the staff here that we are trading, we are meeting, are very critical to this process. Uh, so we brought them here so that we can build a team uh, and they can understand the direction of the government. Uh, His Excellency has been very keen uh, on the mining sector. He has given all the support. Uh, what remains now are the staff here and in the State Department to work as a team uh, the PS and I will give them all the support uh, to make sure that they uh, rise to the occasion uh, and work on their responsibilities and achieve uh, the dreams of our country. Uh, we have found that uh, there are quite a number of people who are holding uh, licenses which we have now categorized as inactive. Uh, once we open the moratorium, which will be very soon, because we've been able to satisfy all the requirements uh, to open the moratorium. We are waiting for uh, the cabinet to finally approve uh, the things we have already done. Uh, we, will, we will be able to cancel over 1,500 licenses that have been inactive. We, we have, uh, in fact, the PS has been at KPA uh, to discuss with senior officials. He has also met 
KRA and we have agreed that we leave and post officers uh, at the KPA. Uh, we have also introduced uh, transit checks where containers will be sealed at the point of source uh, and opened at the point of exit. So we are already addressing that issue uh, with KRA and uh, KPA and all the rogue officials who have been doing that will be brought to book so that they can be accountable uh, to the public and the government. Uh, for those who have followed the discussion, uh, when we talk about the energy transition minerals, the manganese, uh, graphite, uh, copper, uh, we have a responsibility to inspire the economy uh, through mining. And that is why the government of Kenya uh, sponsored a geo-survey process uh, which has been undertaken for the last uh, uh, three and a half years. Uh, and right now we are very clear that uh, this country has enormous mineral resources. Even though I'm already talking to the converted, because mo some of you are geologists, you have been in government for many years, uh, you already have this background. But I think it's very important for me to emphasize uh, the fact that the government of Kenya sponsored a geo survey which has now been concluded 95%. The 5% is marine waters, the Indian Ocean, uh, actually the blue space, Lake Victoria and many others, uh, the blue space has not been looked at in terms of minerals. But with the 95%, we've already seen that many of the counties, we have big potential in minerals. Some of the minerals we knew, others we don't. And others we have known now. How are you? Thank you very much.